Welcome to this Beakerfy tutorial where we explore the power of parametric design. Today, we'll build a dynamic truss structure, harnessing the flexibility of Beakerfy's nodes to create a model that can easily adapt to different sizes and shapes. This model has a curved shape that can be easily adjusted by manipulating the controls of various nodes in the Beakerfy. We'll use the Range Input node, a fundamental tool in parametric design. This node allows us to define a set of numeric values for a specific parameter, which we call length, and provides minimum and maximum values. Then we'll use the Construct Point node, and the Move node allows us to move any object in a certain direction and distance defined by a vector, which is currently the X vector. Now we'll add a Curve Editor node that will allow us to create a curve. To define that curve with our points, we'll use the Connect with Curve node. Next, we'll raise our curve by increasing the height. To do this, we use a second Move node to move it with the Vector Z node and control its height with the Range Input node, which we'll call Height. We will split our curves into segments using the Divide by Count node. This node takes a curve and divides it into a specified number of equally spaced segments, creating a series of points along the curve. In this case, we'll put that number on the Range Input node and call it Count. The Take Nth node picks items in a recurring pattern, selecting every second point from the Divide by Count node's output. Now we use the graft tree node duplicates the input data structure, creating separate branches for each item in the list. The polyline node comes in to connect the selected points. This node creates a smooth path by connecting points in a sequential order. We use the line node to create diagonal members. This node takes two points as input and generates a straight line segment connecting them. Then we will create another take nth node whose start and number will be two. And by the second line node, we will get all the lines needed for our truss. Now we use the pipe node. This node takes a curve as input and creates a 3D pipe shape. The radius of the circle determines the thickness of the resulting pipe. The connection points of the truss are visually emphasized using the sphere node. This node generates spheres at defined points, and their size is controlled by the sphere's radius. Now that our truss has a basic elevation curve shape, we want to focus on building its detailed structure. That's why we hide the functions we don't want to see. The Apply Material node allows our geometry to assign material properties such as color, metallicity, roughness, and opacity, giving it a more tactile and glossy appearance. Now let's activate the demo from the menu to the right and see our model. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.